All right, it's February 4th, 2022. A Friday here in Gastonia as we continue our quest to walk through every downtown in North Carolina. Today we're standing in front of this old Sinclair sign in front of a place called Peter Wheel. Getting ready for lunch, got the lights on. They were standing on the Main Street here. It says, welcome to downtown Gastonia. This is York and Main Street. Goes off a little ways down that way, but we're gonna turn right and go up this way first and see what this town looks like. Got your little scooters as always when you get in these cities, you can ride around on. It's clean down here so far, got wide sidewalks. Got a, little, a lot of old architecture I like. Got lights, bank of trust over there, and then they're... Looks like they're working on these buildings. Definitely are, because you can... <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. If you look through that window, there's nothing behind there. They've already torn it all down, so I guess they're just going to keep the facade. Build something in behind it. Hey, that's good. At least they're keeping the look, right? This old building here is pretty cool looking. I don't know what it was in the past, but it looks like that could have been an opening for a garage right there. Uh, you can see old Rev poking through the, the alleyway here. There's a little government sent over there and it said visitor parking, but you gotta be careful because it looks like it has most of it for employee parking, but I found one road that looked, looked like you could park. And hopefully it'll still be there when I get back with no tickets. I'm gonna be upset if they do. Not a way to greet your visitors. Got a lot of attorney at laws here. These old buildings. Gastonia is the county seat for this county. Another one, four leaves here. Got a lot of opportunity in here. Doing some landscaping. A little rainy today, but it still looks good down through here. You know, these trees are going to bloom out in the spring. That's going to be real pretty down here. Everybody needs to get back down to their town centers and support them, especially support independent businesses so you have a nice variety of shops to choose from. It's a big commercial building here. I don't know what they do. Capstone multifamily group. Looks like that might be a little restaurant right there on the other side. That's the first one I've seen besides the one on the corner with the Sinclair sign. Here's a nice building. I don't know what it is. No sign. So I guess they don't want people to know who they are. Yeah, they got a lot of businesses upstairs too, I think. Marketing, promo, media type businesses. Yeah. Office suites for lease if you need an office. Summer group here. The history loving building, 1984. I have no idea what that is. If y'all live here, comment below co-work on main uh, I don't know what they do Citizens National Bank now you can see there was a big dog down here in that building look how beautiful that building is got that eagle on top there I love the look at the old bank buildings that was a big one too Got a real estate office down there on the corner. You got signs here. You can see they're really revitalizing down here. Let's see if I can pronounce this Italian cafe. I can't. Maggie Ammo. I know I'm making a fool of myself. Man, man, GMO. I don't know. <laughs> Looks like a great place to eat though. It's open, ready. It's early though, it's around 10 o'clock. Another insurance company here. They got this little park here at South and Main. Let's go over here. Well, we'll hit that on the way back. See what that is. Oh, there's that wind. 
they got them trees lit up that's nice cross on over Good commercial building here on the corner. Let's see if we can get out of this wind first. You can see down South Street there. Let's see. United States Representative Sue Merrick. North Carolina District 9. I don't know. <laughs> I hope she still not using this the way this looks right here graffiti on the door and leaves looks like it might have been a retail building one time or a hotel or something let's get out here it says commercial building right now well, it's huge it looks like it might have been a hotel at one time anybody know here's the ship's venue bar and lounge just big in there and looks like they got a place for a band to play in the back so I hope they're still open looks like it I can see some bottles stacked in there got First National Bank another one of these big bank buildings there are, I guess all their offices would have been up in there I don't know what it is right now it says oh, that was Esquire Hotel maybe it still is a hotel we got a beauty lounge here for you if you need something like that. Freeman's Pub, an Irish American public house here. Tables are up. Of course, this morning, that's all nighttime stuff, so hopefully that'll pick up. It's nice down there, clean. Gaston County Administrative Building over there. Looks like they took out some old buildings there and put that in, but it blends in well, I like that. Let's see what we got here. Hot plate soul eatery. I don't think it's open. <laughs> it says cotton co company on top of that window. I don't know why. But uh hot plate soul eatery on both sides. I hope they this could get be lunchtime on a Friday. There's tables in there, but I, I don't think it's open. That's a shame. It sounds like it would have been a good place to eat. I don't see no hours or anything on it. Yeah, Gastonia is named after a man named Gastonia, of course. Always named after somebody, usually, or a place. And got a little, a little alley right here. I guess we can. Maybe they had seats at one time. But yeah, this town was uh, formed around cotton mills and the railroad, of course, like a lot of towns here in the south. Darby, Darby Doll Photography. Got them a nice place. Good picture of that couple right there. Yeah, fixed up nice. You can tell this was a big department store at one time. Yeah. You would come in here and you could see the items inside before you went in. Got another building for lease here, so there's plenty of opportunity here. There's a CW 1886 building over there. It says carriage company. I have no idea what they would be doing. I like that truck. Simplify. Right there. Beautiful truck. This is the HS Crest and Company 510 25 cent store. <laughs> but I like to see those prices today. So you can see how that was all the uh, display windows there and the decorative windows up top. I mean, they, this was a, a nice store one time and it, people would have been walking up and down through here. They wouldn't have been in all the cars going through all the same old, same modes we got around our hometowns these days. Nobody wants to get out and walk no more, it seems like. But uh, I think that's changing. I'm seeing a, a lot of downtown areas being revitalized and people want it. People want to come in and have a place to eat and shop and do things with the friends they don't want to buy everything uh, online that's no fun <laughs> i love the victory barbershop here and the way they got their two spinning poles life of pie pizza joint let's see what the day is today's friday hey there they open at 12 so we're early too early for pizza i had pizza last night anyway yeah, i'm not sure what the carriage company does we're at Maine and Dr. Luton, Dr. 
Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard now. Looks like, uh, let me cross on over here. I saw that marquee down there. I thought that might have been an old theater. But it's part of the back side of Crest, the old Crest store there. Kind of like Woolworth up in Greensboro. They had the store in front, but it carried down the side street too. Looks like that might be there. Let's go see what this is real quick. Okay, that's a conference center. Looks like people are coming in for something now, so I guess they're getting ready to use it. Got Fanny Cakes over there. She's closed. Hopefully she's still making cakes. I just back out. They need to clean that up a little bit. They can make that into a nice little cool nook for something. If they need you to come down here and shop and spend some money to do that. So that, you know, I guarantee you, if you people start coming down here, businesses will pop up for you. You got this cafeteria on the right, but it's closed. I bet a lot of people come in here and eat one time or another. Miles cafeteria. Yeah, there's nothing in there now. Probably oh, got some good food. And people had a good time socializing in there. I think the end of this storm's coming through now. I see the clouds moving over here, so we're going to get some gusts as we go. Cool beans is over there. So that's cool with a little cat coming out of the coffee cup. Gamer EMT, electronic repair. Yeah, it's probably a good business to be in these days. Electronics is every everywhere. Nice old building. Looks like they popped a newer building in between two old ones here. Law firm. Another law firm. And you're going to get that in these county seats where the courthouses are. These buildings over there are looking pretty rough. That awning's all tore up, window busted out. But it does look like they're doing construction. Another attorney at law. I tell you what, I hope there's not a law office in there because it looks, yeah, it's nice. I don't know. It's run down. I don't know. got so much bird crap going off of it. It's pitiful. So they need to make sure to keep their buildings looking good to benefit everybody in the town, all the citizens. That antiques at 134 Main over there. Looks like another salon in that building doesn't have a name on it. All right, let's keep moving. I'm getting on the far skirt outskirts here. On one end, rider bikes over there, bicycle store. Seeing a lot of bicycle stores in towns. So they're coming in and opening up. The Christian bookstore and the barbershop right there in that blue building. It's good use that rebar already bent it around to bike lock, I think. I think that's what it is. Alright. We made it all the way down to Oakland here. We're not gonna go no further, but you can see they got parking there. Alright, let's jump on across. Play a little frogger. We done seen that blue building there. Ride a bike. Man, they loaded up bicycles in there. They ready to sell you something. Come on and buy one. <laughs> Get you a unicycle while you're in there. Here's the Mad Hatters. Closed. Mad Hatter done bit the dust. I've seen more empty buildings than filled, so I don't like that. But it does look like it does like the look like they're trying to uh, get them filled. So hopefully. These business owners, hold on, gotta get the code up now. Hopefully these business owners, like this one right here's got more rent. I was expecting to rent anything looking like that. Come on, fix them up first. So they ain't woo. So they're not run down. Sorry about that. And you'll rent them out. Don't wait. Get off that tight wallet. You're gonna charge a fortune for rent anyway, you know it. <laughs> Yeah, they're in there working.
working out. Cats coughing books. There's two people outside come in for a cat <laughs> fiend break. <laughs> I like that. Courthouse is Sims Park to the right. Loray Village Fuse District to the left. I don't know what that is, but probably something pretty cool. But we're just doing the town center. I imagine that's the courthouse over there. I'm sure there's an old one down here somewhere. I don't see it in the downtown area. We'll go out here a little further and look, and then we'll come back. Yeah, that's the courthouse out there. I don't know where the old one was, but you can see how the train tracks cut through here on the way down towards Charlotte there's some back of the buildings that Gaston County administrative building over there looks like they might have a little venue under that blue building we'll look at that as we go down further but let's go back down to the main street and keep going we're back in front of the carriage company here in this old CW building 1886 1886 that's a long time ago built up here in Gastonia back when this was the place you came to get everything but no Amazon had to be self-sufficient this building here would have been a retail store I'm sure it's empty now just like the Chris store over there awesome <laughs> trying to still block this wind so we're gonna walk a little sideways those bees up there on that mural the honey they're in the honeycomb <laughs> that's pretty cool there's a better look of it they did a good job on that I like that okay that's inside of this whiskeys and cigar lounge here they open at 4 p.m. tonight, so I'm sure this place gets nice and crowded at night. Here's that little park. Let's see if we can go. Missed the wind. I died down a little bit. So they got this little sitting area here with some sculpture in it, aisles and stuff, and faces. And that whiskey and cigar building has a door out to here as well. Fancy place in there. Probably a lot of fun to go in. I like the way it looks like the got a yarn mill there. Guess that's what that'd be. People working inside. Another salon over there. I'm not sure. I like this one, but I don't know what it looks like they're playing cards, maybe. It says family on it. Hey. I tell you what. I'm just going to say it. Family is important. And whether you're married with kids or whether you're, you're single and you still have your family around you, it's important. And uh, every town needs a strong vet family values, I believe, to survive. You need each other. You need each other. You need a whole community. And this looks like a nice place where they come together. Rotary, Centennial Pavilion, yeah. Come out here, I bet they play music in the summertime. Have a great time with their family and their friends and their community. They stick together through thick and thin. They don't let people divide them up. You can have different opinions and still be friends. Still love your family. Just debate in a sensible manner and figure things out. Don't get all mad like these fools we got running the country now. <laughs> Use some common sense, that's what they should be doing. Because I think most people just want to have an, be free to have a nice home, a nice business, a nice job, a nice family. Or if they're single, just a nice life. All right, hit the wind. <laughs> Back in front of this big old bank building, building we showed it from the other side. So I'm gonna skip on down to the interstate. I mean, interstate. To the intersection where we started and look down see if I want to go any further from that point we're on down Main Street now looking back at the United States Post Office beautiful old building they got there 
They need to come outside and replace that American flag and that POW flag. The POW flag's torn and the American flag is dirty. That's a disgrace to be flying outside of the United States Post Office here in this town. Disgrace that our citizens and people who serve. So whoever works there, get out there and get that changed. This is a beautiful town. You can see right there the Sinclair sign where we started. I'm in it right here, so I hope you enjoyed this walk and talk tour of Castonia, North Carolina. If you did, I appreciate it. If you'd like, subscribe and share. Y'all take care.